We are moving next to the diaspora. Okay. Diaspora means dispersed. You all know that, right? But it's I think it's called that because of the distance between the diaspora and the main campus. I think it's quite further than most of the other halls. So you when you're coming to class, you actually need a shuttle or bus, okay, which transports you to your various hostels. Before the pandemic, it used to be one CD per ride. Okay. So it's not that expensive. But the diaspora, there are usually four people in a room, so two bank beds. And there are a few two in a room, but I've noticed that they are usually for international students. Okay, and they're a little bit more expensive. So with the diaspora, there are four main halls at the diaspora. The first one, when you're coming from the swimming pool area, which is the Okonglo Gate. When you're coming from Okonglo Gate, the first one is Hila Diman, followed by Alexander Papon. Then you have Elizabeth Francis Say, then Jen Nelson, okay? Each of these halls are the same. All four are the same, basically, okay? On, there are four floors to each of the diasporas, okay? Each floor has two reading rooms. What I've experienced between the diaspora and then the traditional halls is that the traditional halls are a little bit more comfortable. Even though there are fewer in the traditional halls, they're a little bit more comfortable than the diaspora. Yes, and there are ACs in a lot of them, not all. And yes, there are four people in a room, and there are a few two in a room, two people per room. There are bank beds, so there are two pairs of bank beds. There are pillion holes where you can put your books. There are lockers or wardrobes, <laughs> as we may call them. And the good thing is that there is a balcony. There is a balcony at the diaspora. So every room has a balcony. And the best part is that the washrooms are not shared with the general public. The washrooms are inside. You get to share them with your roommates. Okay. You get to, you have to scrub your own. You have to take care of your own washroom. Okay. So that they don't usually let the cleaners come in to clean. So they take care of the corridors and the public places. They clean those places. But then the washroom is yours. But the other good part is that you can get somebody, you can you can hire somebody to come and clean your washroom for you. In my room, we shared it. Okay. So per, within a month, each four of us takes one weekend. Okay, and you can choose to hire somebody to come and scrub during your time, it's fine. It was quite comfortable. I enjoyed being at the diaspora. Another good thing about the diaspora is that the rooms are way more spacious than the traditional halls. And they look quite better than the traditional halls. Okay, so there will be a video to show you how these halls or these hostels look like so that you can make an informed decision. There are shops, there are shops in each in each hostel, okay, where you can get the basic things you need. So you can ask for them when it gets there. Usually we have the Potter's Lodge where our keys are kept. So over there you can ask for information about your home. When you have a problem with your room, maybe your locker is cold, your key is missing, anything like that, you go to the Potter's and they will sort you out. Okay. Um, the diaspora also has restaurants. Okay, so there are restaurants on the floors, which are usually more than those in the traditional hall because there are more people there. The population is way higher at the diaspora than the traditional halls, and you also get the internet. The internet university's Wi-Fi works there too. So that's it for the diaspora. Let's move on to Jubilee. Jubilee H. So Jubilee, there is the, before Jubilee, let's talk about International Student Hostel. There is International Student Hostel, we call it ISH, okay? ISH, ISH 1 and ISH 